loves welcome back to my channel we are going to jump straight into the video and this is going to be Julia's wash day routine now from the last video I did which was probably I want to say a year ago a year or so ago um, I did a wash day routine for Julia and it has changed drastically because her hair is longer her hair is thicker and Julia thinks she's a little boy so I can braid up her hair today and by tomorrow it's a matted mess it has mulch dirt and all kinds of stuff but nonetheless this is how I wash her hair now so I'm using the main choices ancient Egyptian um, shampoo yeah there you go shampoo I just had a brain fart excuse me so yeah I'm just gonna go massage it through her scalp and this is just a disclaimer no children or Julia was not hurt in the making of this video it looks like I'm being rough but because I'm speeding it up that's why it looks like that but I'm going in with a lot of shampoo being that her hair is very dirty like I said before her hair was full of mulch it had dirt it was just disgusting and it needed a thorough a thorough cleaning it was matted in some parts so I wanted to show you guys how I really take care of her hair not like some of these YouTube videos that you see them detangle in a breeze and they can wash hair in a breeze this wash day took about I want to say four hours from the beginning to the end now I know I have a lot of shampoos for Julia hair but I chose to use the main choices um, breakage and repair antidote shampoo because her hair like I said before was extremely matted it was dry and I noticed that with this shampoo I'm able to detangle her hair and my hair so that's why I chose to use it so please for all the natural hair Nazis do not come under my post telling me to use kids products unless you want to buy her some kids products and send it to me okay okay now back to the video now I'm saturating her hair very very thoroughly because it takes a while to get her strands wet so that's why you see me keep opening her hair I'm gonna squeeze it just to make sure I get that water in there get, to, get her cuticles to open up and I have the water on warm I section her hair into two and as you can see I shampooed that first side and I'm just gonna do the same thing on the second side gently separating her hair just to make sure that I have properly coated all of her hair with the shampoo and as I said before this shampoo does not leave your hair stripped I'm able to detangle with this shampoo I get major pop itch okay like your curls be popping with this shampoo with no other products in it and I'm just adding a lot more shampoo because like I said before her hair is very thick and then I'm going into sections and I'm just massaging it through, squeezing it in just to make sure everything is coated. And I like to detangle on wet hair because to me it's less shedding. And I noticed that even though when your hair is wet, it's fragile, just like when your hair is dry. But if you take your time and properly detangle your hair while your hair is wet, you should have way less shedding especially with finger detangling so I'm finger detangling before I even put a comb into her hair and as you can see in this portion right here I try to incorporate her in her wash day routine so she can try to get used to it because she is getting older and I want her to learn how to care for her natural hair we have washed out all of the shampoo I'm gonna go in with the Aussie mega moist conditioner 
and I noticed with this conditioner I get a lot of slip I mean a lot a lot of slip and because the kind of texture um, of her hair like I can use this conditioner in my hair with no problem but I feel like it kind of leaves a heavy coating on my hair but when I use it in her hair it's perfect so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all throughout her hair then I'm gonna create some sections I section it off and then I start to detangle with the comb after I have further detangled with my fingers. I felt some shed hair that was trapped and some knots so I just went ahead and clipped that away and don't be afraid to clip your hair like I clip my hair ever so often and I do the same thing with Julia if I'm doing her hair and I see that she has a, a whole bunch of knots that I cannot even take out I just cut it just let it go let it go boo-boo just let it go <laughs> more conditioner because I'm about to start the detangling process with the comb and I can't repeat this enough I finger detangle a lot this way I'm able to feel out certain tangles that a comb might not feel just to avoid unnecessary breakage and damage to my hair and also Julia's hair so that's what I did in this process I finger detangled finger detangled finger detangled then I went in with the, um, the comb and even though I went in with the comb, as you can see at this point, I'm still finger detangling and um, trying to feel out any tangles um, that's in her hair. So I'm using the Texture Pro comb and on my Instagram, I was raving about it because this, this comb is literally life. Now y'all see, I ditched my old faithful pink brush I got from Sally's because this right here, this right here, like it doesn't matter how tangled your hair is, it is going to get through it. And it's gonna get through it without ripping and snagging your hair. Now when I'm done, I'm gonna show you guys how much um, shedding I got after combing it out with the comb. Just so you guys can get an idea how good the comb is. And I have not combed Jalea hair in a month. Jalea hair has been in a protective style, if you wanna call it that. For about a month just to give me a break just to give her a break because she is starting to really despise wash day <laughs> finish the rest of this off camera when we come back her hair will be fully washed out and sectioned off now this is the amount of hair received after deep not deep conditioning after detangling now we're going to begin the deep conditioning process and the deep conditioner of choice is her Aussie three minute miracle and instead of keeping it on her head for three minutes I'm going to put on a plastic cap and then my hot head steam cap and let it sit for around 15 to 20 minutes there's no sense in dragging this video along so this will be the conclusion to this video I appreciate you guys for tuning in and pressing that watch button is it a watch button I don't know where to call it but whatever thank you guys so much for watching as always stay blessed stay prayed up and I'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye guys